We're bringing you storybook classics from around the world. Every country has famous tales which are told for hundreds of years and become classics. The story you're about to hear is called Sinbad. It comes from the country of Iraq. Long ago, there lived in the city of Baghdad, a boy named Sinbad. The fires of adventure burned brightly in Sinbad's breast, and he spent much of his time sitting by the seashore, dreaming of distant lands. But his sister Karima was forever interrupting his dreams. What's going on? Give me that. It's mine. Sinbad, I'm scared. Over here, sis. Thank goodness you're here, Sinbad. They took the food I brought you and wouldn't give it back. You better forget it, big brother. You're outnumbered. Hey, my martial arts teacher told me to practice by splitting melons, and you boys look like Persian melons to me. Careful, Sinbad. Well, not me. <laughs> and never, ever touch my lunch! And may Allah protect you if you come my way again! Sinbad and Karima sat and ate the meal, and Sinbad talked of the ships he'd seen and his dreams of sailing away on one of them. Late that night, they returned to their home where their grandfather waited impatiently for their return. We're home, Grandpa. Yes, Sinbad, and you've both missed your supper. Sorry, Grandpa. Yes, I'm sure. You've been down by the sea daydreaming about pirate ships again. Anything's better than spinning pots on a wheel all day. I'm not meant to be what somebody else wants me to be. Sinbad, you will not speak to me that way. Until you're a man, I will decide what is best for you. The potter's wheel will teach you to blend beauty and usefulness. It molds men as well as clay. I can't be patient, Grandpa. Sinbad, wait! Let him go, Karima. I'll be waiting. Sinbad went down to the shore with a heavy heart. He knew he had hurt his grandfather's feelings, but he also knew he could never be a potter. Not while the great blue ocean was there before him, calling to him, tempting him. Sinbad, please, listen to me. Sinbad, wait! But Sinbad could no longer wait. He knew his destiny. A shooting star brought him out of his thoughts and filled him with hope. It had to be a sign. Then, he heard a gruff voice nearby. Cargo aboard and make the ship ready. We sail with the morning tide. Heave ho! Heave ho! Heave ho! Opportunity is my middle name. The ship sailed away on a sparkling sea. The captain barked his orders, and all the crew hastened to obey. Aye, aye, skipper. Slow that line. We're on our way. Heave to. Well, almost all. Perhaps one had not yet risen from his slumber. <clears throat> oh. That's one barrel that's not full of laughs. Hey. Oh, I made it. I made it. I'm finally on board a real live ship. Ahoy, mates. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Sinbad the Sailor, <laughs> formerly from Baghdad. Well, it must be time for lunch. Anybody hungry? <laughs> so the ship sailed on, and the captain and crew were not aware they had a passenger until... What's for breakfast? Biscuits and gravy. I'm sick of biscuits and gravy. Okay, okay, I'll get some fresh fruit from the hold. Oh, no, not all our fresh fruit. Yeah, and you have my compliments. It was mighty good. Ahoy, Captain! Boy, stowaway! Now I'll become the best sailor ever to climb a mast. Sinbad and his friends were brought before the captain, a stern man who did not seem at all happy with the situation. How came you here? I am sorry, sir. They call me Sinbad. I meant no harm. I only wanted to be a sailor. Please let me, please, please. Silence! Wait, let me think. Guys, it looks pretty bad. But don't worry, if I have to walk the plank, I'm a good swimmer, I'll be all right. There's bound to be land nearby. Walk the plank? No, boy, not on my ship. It's worse than that. It's the whip. Great imagination. Sign the lad up as cabin boy. He'll make a great sailor. Aye, 
Aye, that's fine, Captain. Yay, I made it, I'm a sailor! Mates forever? <laughs> Sinbad and his friends worked hard for the next few weeks. They learned that aboard a ship, a sailor's work is never done. They also learned that hard work never hurt anybody. And one stormy night, a terrible thing happened. A great wave washed Sinbad's little monkey overboard. Sinbad was frantic. He couldn't let his little shipmate drown. No! No! Let go! Let go! Abdul tried to hold him back, but Sinbad was determined to save his friend. Sinbad no! dove fearlessly into the raging water and found his little friend just as a giant wave crashed no! down on them. Brave Sinbad. Both of them are finished. We'll never find them in this storm. The next morning, a solitary figure lay motionless on the yellow sand of a deserted island. Oh, what a night. Ah, my poor old pal. Shipmate, you're alive! <laughs> hey, a bunch of bananas! Great work, shipmate! Hey, what a gale! What the heck is that? In the sky! That's a giant rock, the largest flying turkey alive. I guess it has its nest right here on the island. If it sees us, we're finished. I think I've got to plan some way to get us off this desert island paradise on that big bird. <laughs> Quiet now, shipmate! Now I'm gonna take off this turban and lash myself to the leg of that big old buzzard. Climb up top there, shipmate, and see if you can make this bird take us back to the ship. And be careful. Take it easy now, pal. You're almost there. Make her mad now. <laughs> We did it, pal! Up, up, and away! Well, what do you know? There's our ship. Hey, shipmate! Look below us! It's our ship! Wah! Well, here goes nothing. is back. Welcome. I guess sailors don't sleep much. Where am I? How, how'd I get back home? Sailors oh brought you. How? When? They came last week. They told us you had a very bad fall, but that you'd be all right if you got a long rest. They told us all about it, Sinbad. I hear you had enough adventures for two lifetimes. 
I want to go with them. Have they sailed yet? Where are they? Oh! Look at the little bird flapping his broken wing. Sorry, brother. I'm afraid you'll be a landlubber until all your broken bones are mended. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid even shipmate won't put up with your bad temper, Sinbad. Don't worry, little fella. You'll get used to it when you've lived with him as long as we have. <laughs> <laughs> so Sinbad was safely home, but not for long. His adventure had only whetted his appetite for the wide world beyond Baghdad. Many suns have set since Sinbad's last adventure, and once again he's ready for the unknown, if he can escape the watchful eye of his grandfather. Not much problem there, but Karima may prove to be more of an obstacle. Grandfather's asleep, Sinbad, and we're both ready to go. Karima, please, it's impossible. A ship's no place for a woman. I'm going and that's final. You've been having too much fun without me. Well, okay, come on, but you'd better do what I tell you when I tell you to do it. Okay, now watch what I do. See how easy it is? Now this is how you keep your balance. Uh, ah! Sinbad, Grandfather's awake! Run! Come back, Sinbad, come back! Don't be a fool! But Sinbad ran like the wind, found his ship, and sailed out of the harbor. Happy as only a sailor can be, heading for the open sea. As he watched the shore slipping away, he heard Karima's voice. Sinbad! Sinbad! Goodbye, Sinbad! I'll miss you! Good luck! Bye, Karima! So long! You've been wonderful! Bye, Sinbad! May Allah protect you until you return! But Allah must have been busy, for not many days later, Sinbad's ship ran aground on an uncharted island, and he began his most dangerous adventure. Oh, my poor ship, oh, woe is me. What's to become of us cast up on this miserable rocky shore? Oh, woe is me, oh, woe is me. The crew managed with great effort to pull the ship ashore and begin repairs. When night fell, the men slept soundly, exhausted by their labors. They did not hear the strange roars in the jungle. Nor did they stir when a huge and mysterious shadow crept over their camp. Nor did they feel the earth tremble as the shadow slipped away. Go and wake me at the crack of dawn. Look at that! It's enormous! It must what be the Cyclops, that? one of a race of giants said to live in these islands. They are meat eaters, including, I am told, human flesh. Tall tale, Sinbad. No living soul has ever returned from this island to tell the world the true nature of these one-eyed monsters. Stop sniveling, you milksop! I can't help it, I'm the fattest. If it eats men, I'm sure to be the first. The appetizer. Look at the cheerful side of things. He might save you for last. <laughs> You'll have to turn back. Huh? It's the monster! Maybe he doesn't speak our language. How do you say goodbye in Spanish, Captain? Adios.
Sinbad surveyed the scene of destruction and desolation with great dismay. All of his friends, helpless captives of the one-eyed fiend. But what could he, a small boy, do to help them? Who alone could stand against such strength and size? Allah be my witness, though I be small, I must try and save my friends somehow. I swear it upon my life. Come on, shipmate, it's up to us. The two brave companions began their quest. Through the night they searched, and at last, atop a high and treacherous cliff, they saw the giant's dwelling. Sinbad climbed, though his fingers grew stiff and sore, until at last they approached the immense and impassable doorway looming darkly before them. Inside, the giant was enjoying a drink before dinner, while the main course huddled silently in deep despair in their tiny prison. Sinbad found his way through a mouse hole into the room, quickly spied his friends, and sent his monkey to help them. Shipmate, chew up those ropes. Quiet now. How'd you get in? Look, Sinbad's here. Hi. <laughs> you can do it. Hurry up. Sinbad. You're the bravest lad I've ever seen. We owe you our lives. 
Sinbad's fainted. Oh, what a nightmare I just had. Karima, did you bring lunch? I've got a surprise for you, sis. Don't turn around. I'll put it on your neck. Here, hold still now. <laughs> 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 Sinbad, how are you feeling, buddy? Sorry, I must have had a dream. No problem. We all dream about girls. <laughs> We're fortunate none of them look like you. <laughs> 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 Sinbad recovered, and he and his crew sailed back to Baghdad. Our young hero knew he'd had adventure enough for many lifetimes. But was adventure enough? Enough for Sinbad? Huh? Look alive, mate! Ship on the port side! Uh-oh. Looks know. like trouble. Know. On the sail, the sign of the Cobra! Yes, it's a slave ship. We haven't a chance. Why not? We can never outrun them. Ah. Don't worry. I'll put the fire out. I'll put the fire out. Set fire to her sails. She'll be easy pickings, lads. Fire away! <laughs> I all sail, lads. Come on, we'll try to make a run for it. It's no use. They're much too fast for us, Captain. Aye. Come on, lads. Stand by to lighten the ship. Throw everything overboard. Food, cargo, everything. Look lively now. It's our only chance. Superb sailing! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ready your grappling hook, stand by to board! All right, men, stand by to repel boarders! Look, we're on fire! All together now, me hearties! Let's make them sorry they were born! Take that! And that! And that! Don't be afraid, laddie. I'm not. <laughs> Just my size! Sinbad, no, you can't, lad! I'm not afraid of him, Captain. It's pointless. They have beaten us. Stop, men! Throw down your weapons! The pirates took what cargo was left, burned the little ship, and took Sinbad and the crew aboard in chains. What now? All I know is... I want a piece of that... Silence, you pig, or I'll slice off your head. Give me some excuse, lad. My blade's sharp. It'll clip off an ear with a flick of the wrist. That ear'll never know it's missing till it hits the planking, and then I'll shave you so close your eyeballs will fall out. First, the kid dies. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage to kill us when we're all chained like this. I'll fight you one to one. Stop! Huh? The lad has spirit. The least we can do is let him die fighting, set him free, give him a weapon. Let's have a little fun here. Oh, Chief, he's a kid. Silence! This has been a bore up to now. Let's see if there's blood in the boy's guts. Let me fight that big swabby, please. You do as I say. As you wish, Captain. Feints to the left, so thrust to the right. Here's your weapon, Sinbad. Now, lads, I want a clean fight. Get ready. Set and go! Now, just be still, and you won't feel a thing. I'll tell your mother you fought well. Why, you little twerp, bye-bye. Give up now, Sinbad, before it's too late. I'm not giving up. I have not yet even begun to fight. 
Okay, buddy boy, make your move. My move? Okay! <laughs> oh. 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 Mount up! Oh. Now you blackguard yield before I cut your throat! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Great fight! Holy Thor, the bully lost. Go on, finish it! Yeah, go on, Sinbad, finish him! You've won, finish him! Finish him off! He'd finish you if he had the chance! Oh. Uh. Arr, why didn't you do him in, Sinbad? Take a life for no reason? He's right. Samara! Father, I'm ashamed of you allowing the men to fight with the slaves. You know they're not any good to us dead. You're a fool and a hothead, Emek. And you must remember you're still a slave, young man. A slave never, and being chained will not change that. Wait! Yes, wait, Sinbad. I'm not finished with you yet. My terms are these. Either you give me Sinbad's head, or Samara is mine. <laughs> Hamak, let her go. Well, Sinbad... You're safe, lady. No, stop her! Get her! Don't worry, you're safe now, Samara. Sinbad and his friends were taken away to a faraway land and sold at auction. The pirate chief sold Sinbad for many pieces of silver because of his bravery, while his friends were sent to work in the fields. Take heart! Farewell, Sinbad. Goodbye, friend. Good luck. May Allah protect you. Sinbad traveled many miles to the palace of his new owner, a mighty sultan who had a beautiful daughter. The Sultan gathered his new slaves and told them their mission. I'm having a very serious problem with elephants. You men, brave warriors all, will help me to solve this problem. Those who volunteer to help will be freed. Those who are too chicken will be put to death. The choice is completely yours. Oh, but you don't mean that. That big bag of wind. Sit please. I'm making a speech here. Now, boys, let's get out there and beat these elephants. Hit them hard. Turf, but don't let that throw you. We'll use the element of surprise. We'll put most of our force up in those palm trees. Move out. Come on, come on, there's no time to lose. Get to your position. Here they come! Oh, my face. Easy now, men. Don't fire till you see the pinks of their little red eyes. That man is plumb nuts. Huh? Don't do this. Please don't murder those helpless elephants. Shazar! Shazar! Foolish girl! Shazar, please! Ooh, ha! Let's get out of here! Sinbad, do something! My father thinks all elephants are bad because one wild bull killed two men. It's madness! I hate it! Have a look, little fella. I won't hurt you. There. Uh, now you'll be okay. Just wrap that up. There. Up on your feet. Come on. You can do it. No. Oh. Huh. Sinbad, wait. Where are you going? Sinbad didn't know, but he knew the elephants would not hurt him. They took him to a secret place in the wilderness, beneath a great waterfall. 
Leaping dervishes! The elephant's burial ground. Look at all that ivory. Bet I can buy freedom with this. Sinbad not only bought his freedom, but the freedom of the captain and his crew, with enough left over to purchase a fine ship to take them home. Anchors away! Well, you've done it again, Sinbad. We're grateful to you, the men and I, and want you to know you're welcome to sail with us at any time. It's your ship, after all. Sinbad! Sinbad, wait! Don't leave us, Sinbad. My daughter wants to marry you. I'll make you my heir. Please take over my plantations. You're the man I... My daughter met you first, Sinbad. I'll make you captain of all my ships. My fortune's bigger than his. You'll be a rich man. Adventure's my game, Sinbad. Come with me, lad, and we'll make the world our backyard. I asked him first, you barnacle brain. Aye, but he's a sailing man, not a dirt farmer. He's mine. I saw him first. But Sinbad loves me. I'd say you have a problem, lad. <laughs> I'd give anything to have those problems. Just chalk it up to sex appeal, I guess. Now that's immodest, boy. Uh oh! <laughs> I'll get you for that! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait! You can't leave me here with these women! Wait! Come back! Ah, Baghdad, city of timeless wonders and delights. Except, of course, in the opinion of Sinbad. Time in Baghdad is a heavy burden for him. Grandfather will be very unhappy about this, Sinbad. Can't help it. Be careful. Going somewhere, boy? Gramps, I'm sorry if you're unhappy, but they're waiting for me down at the ship. Off they sailed once again, toward what adventures, what dangers, no one knew. Karima's words echoed in Sinbad's thoughts. He had done nothing to make her proud, nothing to ease his grandfather's worry. But this time, this time, the ship sailed into a great calm, and the summer sun was so hot, the wine they carried soon turned to vinegar. Water and rations became scarce, and the ship's only hope was to make landfall before the men shriveled and died in the broiling Ahoy, heat of the sun. Oh, I've spied an island off the starboard bow. It's green and beautiful. There must be water there. Uh, beautiful and wet. Sinbad's right. There must be water there. Helmsman, set the wheel west by northwest. We'll make for land. Yay, land, water! <laughs> The captain hove to well offshore to avoid the reefs and sent a landing party to explore the island. Sinbad was the first ashore, eager to find the needed water. Yeah! <laughs> Boy's gone mad. Something's very strange. Hip, hip! Sinbad! The island's moving! <laughs> Run! It's a volcano! Sinbad, come on! Sinbad's drowned. Gone. The 
biggest fish I ever saw. Hey, boy, keep hanging on. Before long, that whale will come up for air. But those whales swim underwater for hours. Never thought of that. The captain searched for Sinbad, but there was no sign of him. The boy was lost and drowned, gone forever. But wait, what's this? A soggy figure washed up on the shore. Could it be? Is there life left in the poor, wet waif? Ow! <laughs> well, Allah be praised. A little spark still burns. But in the words of the tent maker, it could be the fire for he who escapes the frying pan. Crab, you've had it. Mm. Ah! Huh? Oh. Uh, Buenos dias? The natives most definitely did not look friendly. More to the unfortunate point, they looked hungry. Sinbad was taken to their village, and a joyous celebration began. We eat tonight! The witch doctor seemed pleased to see Sinbad and ordered him to be housed in the bowels of the goddess Bazumba. Sinbad's failure to appreciate this great honor annoyed the guards. Oh. Oh. Let me out! Let me out! Uh, maybe they plan on fattening me up before they... Uh, uh. It's no use. Allah, you suppose you could help get me out of this? Maybe you're busy. I'll get started anyway. Ouch! Nobody home? Wow, gold! I'm rich! I'll take that, and that, and that, and that, and that, oh, and that. So what? There's plenty more. Hey, wait a minute here. What's the good of all of this if I'm gonna wind up cooked? Oh, come on, Sinbad. There's gotta be some way out of here. I'm really sorry. Whoa! A skeleton! Ah! Help! Help! <sighs> Wait a minute. That's my lunch, and if you boys want it, you better show me the way out of here. The rats were indeed grateful, as decent food was scarce in the cannibal camp. And when they'd eaten their fill, they led Sinbad through a small tunnel that opened into a great cavern. The way was dark and perilous, but Sinbad Whoa. followed the rats closely until they suddenly vanished through a small crevice in the rocks. I'll never get through there. Wind, I can feel it. There's a breeze coming from somewhere. I feel it on my face. But where? A light! I'm saved! There must be some way out, if I can move this rock. Freedom, here I come!
<sighs> Made it! Ha! <laughs> I'll just work my way along the coast until... Hey, is that... The ship! Hey, over here! I'm over here! Hello, ship! Help! Help! Stop! Come back! Help! Oh, no. <laughs> they see me! They're coming! Ahoy! Help! Ahoy! Help! Ahoy! Ahoy! Help! Ahoy! Wonder of wonders, it was Sinbad's ship. The captain had never given up believing that Sinbad had somehow survived. Sinbad was so happy to see them, he offered to share the riches he had found with them. But the captain was so happy to see Sinbad, he refused to accept anything. Sinbad returned to Baghdad a wealthy man, and his grandfather greeted him with great joy, and of course, his sister Karima was prouder than ever. Come on, Sinbad, it's time to get back to sea. And of course, that is what Sinbad did. Neither wealth, nor comfort, nor the thought of danger kept Sinbad from his adventures, from the call of the sea, and from the promise of distant lands. Have a safe trip, Sinbad! Sinbad had to smile at his sister's farewell wish, for no voyage which promised adventure could be completely safe, nor would he wish it so, nor would we. For storytellers seldom sing of safety, especially when telling the tale of the voyages of Sinbad the Sailor. <laughs>